If you've really never taken the time to ask yourself, what do I want? I'm gonna show you exactly the steps that you can take today to start figuring out exactly what it is that you want and start creating a life that's gonna allow you to really be in full control of your time and your energy. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to figure out what you don't want. I know that may seem a little counterintuitive, but here's the thing. If you've never asked yourself what I want, one of the best things to do is to ask yourself what you don't want. So if you know you don't want to have an overbooked schedule, or if you know that you don't want to be fully committed to a lot of things, or if you know you don't want to be stuck to a desk all day, that is a great place to start because when you know what you don't want, you take all of that off the table and then you create space to really start figuring out what you do want. So the first thing that you need to do is to figure out what you don't want. The second thing that I want you to do is to focus on experiences that you want to have. Focus on what you wish you could be doing, right? Whether it's traveling, whether it's spending time with more friends and family, or if you just want to be able to wake up when you want to and not have to be dictated by a, a schedule or a job, whatever it is, focus on the experiences that you want to have. You want to go visit beautiful countries. You want to go eat great food. You want to feel in shape. Do you want to be in nature? Do you want to be surrounded by beauty? Do you want to go to beautiful countries? Do you want to have more adventure in your life? Do you want to have more fun in your life? Some of y'all aren't having a lot of fun in your life and you're bored and you feel stuck probably because you're not having a lot of fun in your life. So the second thing that you need to do is to focus on the kind of experiences that you want to have. The third thing that I want you to do is to plan an ideal week. Your time is really being dominated and dictated by what everyone else is wanting. I want you to take the time after you watch this entire video to sit down and map out your, enti your entire week, an ideal week. And if that seems like a lot for you, plan out your ideal day from morning until you go to sleep. What would you be doing throughout the day? Don't hold back. Don't be like, oh, that's silly or that's dumb. Like you get to be in charge. You are 100% in charge over your time and your energy and how you spend your day. Third thing that I want you to do is sit down, plan your ideal week, plan your ideal day, take the time to really start to visualize and imagine from morning until evening how you want to spend your day or your week. The fourth thing that I want you to do is look at all the people that you're jealous of. The thing is, those people that you are jealous of, it's really because you want what they have. Are they impacting people in a bigger way? Are they speaking with confidence? Do they seem to have a lot of freedom in their life? Your sources of envy are really because you want something that they have. So rather than focus on how much you can't stand them or how jealous you are, get real with yourself and ask yourself, what did they have that I want in my life. When you focus on turning it around back on you rather than I don't like them, they're like this, they're like that, but you get real with yourself and you're like, what do they have that I want? You'll start to get clearer really on what it is that you want. The fifth thing that you need to do to figure out what you really want, you gotta take action. Once you focus on those people that you're jealous of, but you start getting clear on what they have that you want, once you start thinking about the experiences that you want, once you figure out what you don't want in your life, once you plan your ideal day, you have to take action. Don't judge yourself through this process. We are not raised to ask ourselves what we want. We are taught to give to other people, make sure other people are happy, betray ourselves, abandon ourselves so that we can be liked, approved of, validated by other people. So if you're like Vasavi, I don't even know where to begin. I've never asked myself what I want. You're not alone. Especially women, we are not trained to ask ourselves what we want. And so these are the simple steps that I'm giving you right now to start even getting your mind in that frame of thinking about asking yourself, what do I want? And start paying attention to what you want. You gotta get in touch with your body. You gotta sit with yourself. You gotta really be honest with yourself about what you don't want, what you do want, and then you gotta take action to make that happen.